if I had the chance to sit face to face with Father Marks, I would not only tell him thank you, but the way I would tell him thank you would be to talk about all the work that is happening currently in Human Life International's activities, to talk about the new faces that have joined our apostolic work, to talk about the victories that we have been able to win, and also to express the difficulties that we're facing. No different than Father Marks faced in those early days, and no different than he faced in those latter years before his death. Human Life International's work is an ongoing work, and as long as there is a threat against life and family, Human Life International will be there. And as long as there are opportunities for us to carry forward that work into new territories, we will continue to carry that message forward. This is the way we honor and remember him. And I believe that Father Marx would be so pleased to see what's being done, not in his name, but in the name of the gospel of life. But it would be honored, honoring him because it is him who saw this great need and began to stir up the hearts of so many people. So, Father Marx, all I can say is thank you so much for giving us this great work. Thank you for the gift of your life. And I pray in some way as you look upon us that you are pleased with the work that we're doing and that you are interceding for us, praying for us, helping us to truly be the apostles for life as you were. Thank you.